We saw hideous faces and a carnivalesque procession of ghosts, but then he remembered the Tibetan Book of the Dead and reminded himself that these were only projections of his ego. Eventually he resorted to a simple mantra that he had learned as a novice, a meditation over two words coupled with special attention to the physiological process of inhalation and exhalation, and thereby he managed to repel the spooky spectacle and was elevated to a higher state of consciousness, culminating in an experience of oneness with the universe. Thinking of Buddha further deepened his state of ego dissolution. Compared to his everyday consciousness, he told us, he gained a much more profound insight into the fact that the ground of all existence is love. This occurred to him as an eternal truth. He said, it has always been that way and it will always be that way. When reaching that state, I thought, this is it, this is it. This was the state he had been striving for during three decades of meditation exercises. <laughs>